Hello everybody, my name is Mark Sladek and I am from Aibele. In our video today we are talking about the WinConfig software and how to use it professionally. That includes how to create a new file, how to upload and download files to the SCADA card and I will also give you a short overview of the whole WinConfig software. For my demonstration I use a RecDA containing a RecPE and on my PC I already started the WinConfig software. Let's get started. In the left upper corner you see eight icons. I will explain the function of them to you today. First of all, we start with creating a new file. On the right side, an input mask appears and we select the board type we are using. In our case, it's in RecPE TK28-6. In the next line, we have to choose the protocol we are using. In our case, for today, we choose DMP3. In the next line, the SCADA template is already set to basic. Usually you're using the basic file. And in the last line, we select the connected device to the SCADA card. In our case, it's a RecDA. That's it. We defined the template already and can continue. On the left side, the parameter file appears. If you now want to save the file to your PC so you can use it later on site or use it as a backup, click on the file and press save. The browser automatically saves the file to your download folder. After saving the file, you might want to clear the imported files. So please click on the file and use the remove button. After you clicked on the button, confirm your choice. And now the file disappeared. Until now, we talked about creating and saving a file. So the next topic is about to import a file into the WinConfig. Therefore, we select import an existing file. And on the right side, the input mask appears. You have here basically four options to import a file. The first option is about to import an XML file. The second option is to import a zip archive. And on the lower options, you have the option to import the WinConfig from an Excel spreadsheet and to convert a file from an old generic version into the WinConfig. So for today, we have a DMP3 protocol that's saved as an XML file. You click on Browse and the Windows dialog opens. Navigate to the folder where the XML file is stored and click on it. Afterwards, open the file. Now you see the name of the XML file displayed here and you can open the file into the WinConfig. You have also the option to use the drag and drop function. Therefore, open the import section again, minimize your browser and drag the file and drop it into the WinConfig. Now you can open here the file as well. And on the left side, the file appeared. The last option to open a file in the WinConfig is to do a direct download from the SCADA card. Today, I'm using a REC PE, which is right now connected to my PC. The next step is to transfer the settings to the PC and do a detect on the LAN. The PC is right now searching for the SCADA card in the local network. The PC found the SCADA card in the network. Select the card and enter the password. In my case, it's the default password, Teledata. Now we can do a remote transfer of the settings to the PC. On the left side, the parameter file appeared. After creating, importing or downloading a file to the WinConfig, you might want to change the parameters. Today we created a standard parameter file. There are already reasonable settings included. If you want to change them, you have two options. You can use the basic overview with all necessary settings 
and the advanced view with more detailed parameters. After changing the settings in the parameter file, you might want to upload the parameter file again to the Scala card. Therefore, select your parameter file and press transfer settings to the telecontrol board. Do a detect on LAN again and wait until the PC found the card in the network. The PC found the card in the network. We select the card, enter our password again, and transfer from PC to the device. Now there are two icons left. One is for exporting the parameter file into an Excel spreadsheet. This is helpful if you want to share the data point list to a SCADA engineer. And the last button is helpful if you want to compare two parameter files to each other. Therefore, select the first setting file here and the second parameter file here. Afterwards, you can compare them and the WinConfig will export the differences in an Excel spreadsheet. That's it for today's video. You've learned how to create a new SCADA file how to apply changes to your SCADA card, and I gave you a general overview of our WinConfig. So now you're a real expert. See you next time at Aebele Academy.